Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is writing expressions in which the letters stand for numbers. Okay, so what's happening now is we're taking an expression and we're going to create a word form uh, for that expression using our vocabulary. So I notice that I have a subtraction symbol, so I need to subtract. And this guy here means I, means I need to multiply. Okay, so I'm going to create an expression using those two um, uh, operations. So we have an 8 minus a 2 times g. Okay, and there you have it. Now my advice to students is to be as simple as you can be. Don't get overly complicated. And... It's always best, or usually best, to work from left to right. So I started with that 8, and then I encountered the subtraction, and then I encountered the 2 multiplied by the g. Okay, now in 6, you can still work left to right, but do understand that these guys go together as far as parentheses are concerned. They're joined. So I'm going to wind up using another word that we talked about the other day. The word is quantity. So I do notice that I have a multiplication and I have an addition situation here. The addition needs to come first, but I can still write it with the 15 coming first. So I have my 15 times, again, just keeping it nice and simple, not getting overly complicated, times the quantity of, now that quantity of uh, makes me, or makes a, uh, anyone working the problem, know that that addition needs to come first. So that quantity of A plus C. Okay? Basically what, what you want is by the time you're done reading this, or if you didn't know what this is at all, and this is all you have, you can say to yourself, okay, I need 15 times the quantity of A plus C, and the only thing you can get is 15 times, there's my multiplication in there, the quantity of A plus C, and that forces you to write down your parentheses. Okay? And they match. Okay? Now, this guy here, again, I'd probably use the quantity again just to make sure that these guys go together because they're sitting up top as a numerator. So I would write something like the quantity of m plus n divided by 5. Okay. Now, what's interesting is you may also use a comma to sort of really sort of divide things out a little bit or separate things out. The quantity of m plus n, noticing that those two certainly will go together because a comma is a nice separation, So, all, meaning that all of this here is going to be then divided by that 5. Okay. And that comma can be used in that way. Okay. Now, number 8 is interesting because now we're jumping into some exponent stuff. I'm going to clear the board here. Now, as far as exponents are concerned, since we're talking about a power of 3, we can use the word cubed. So I could have b cubed minus 18 like this, but there is another way of doing that. We could also say b to the power of 3, which lists that exponent, minus... Now I can, I can use a comma if I'd like to. Actually, in this case, it do, really doesn't matter because you will, by order of operations, deal with the exponent first anyway. But sometimes that comma is nice just to show that there is a separation there between uh, b to the power of 3 and that subtracting 18 or minus 18 deal. Okay? So that's the deal, folks. That's what we worked on. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.